Can you hear me well? Yes. All right. How about can you see me well? Yeah. All right. But can you say yes, I can? <laughs> All right, so my name is Teacher Johnny, and I will be your English teacher for today. All right. How about you? What is your name? Mm hmm. All right, again, how about you? What is your name? Oh, hello. Hello. I can't hear you. <laughs> Hello. OK, S so I cannot hear you. Yes. <laughs> Oh, because of the internet connection, right? Mm -hmm. And you have a nice house, I guess. It's just for high house. And it's so big. <laughs> All right. So again, my name is Teacher Johnny, and I will be your English teacher for today. How about you? What is your name? My name is Anna. Oh. At the center from pretty long. Oh, that, really? So that's why your um, pronunciation is really good. Okay, by the way, Ann, how old are you? Um, I'm 10. How old oh, are you? Oh, I'm 22. Mm -hmm. I'm 22 years old. So nice to meet you, Ann. Teacher. What? Yes, yeah, same to my old teacher. Oh, yeah, same to, to your old teacher. And she is my friend. Mm hmm. OK, so by the way, mm -hmm. have you eaten your dinner? Yes, how about you? All right. No, I haven't. <laughs> so what did you eat for dinner? Mm, vegetable and some uh, vegetable. Mm. Oh, some vegetables. OK, so after this class, I'm going to eat my dinner. Well, I'm expecting to eat roasted chicken and vegetable as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So are you excited to learn today? Okay. All right. So I'm going to share you the screen. Okay. Just tell me if you see it. All right. Okay. Still. All right. Can you see it well? Yes. All right. So I saw in the video that you stop right here in this story, right? Yes. Okay. So since you stop right here, we are going to continue this one at page 74. Am I right? Yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. So now, are you ready to answer the questions here? Okay. All right, so can you please read the question number one? But let me read the instruction, okay? Okay. All right, so circle the letter of the best answer, okay? Okay. All right, so can you please read the question number one? And one. answer it. What is the main idea of the reading? A, the meaning of... Happy New Year. Okay, very good. It's the meaning of the Happy New Year, correct? Mm hmm Okay, so for number two. The culture celebrates New Year in the morning. The thing is France. France. Mm hmm Let me just check in the reading, okay? All right, so let me check here in the reading. Wait. Wait. Mm -hmm. So I think the brands, OK, in France, people eat pancakes for good luck in New Year. Mm -hmm. So I think the answer here is the passage doesn't say, am I right? Yeah, I remember that. Um, I think it's Spain. It's Spain. Mm hmm. I'm not sure about it. One more time. I am really not sure about it. You really don't sure about it. Mm hmm. Okay. So let me just check it. Check it one more time. Mm hmm. 
Spain. So a widespread Spanish tradition for good luck is to eat grapes New Year's Day. The grapes present. Oh, the passage doesn't say. Oh, I told you it's the passage doesn't say, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Correct. So now, how about number three? Three. What is the what is a resolution? Oh, uh, can you say a resolution? Resolution. Okay. So what is a resolution? Resolution. Hmm. Mm. Maybe it's something you say. Correct. That is something you say. Okay, by the way, do you always have your resolutions during New Year? No, I never try to do it. Oh, you never try to do it. But I know that you keep on improving, right? Um right <laughs> okay so for number four let me read it for you okay? okay all right so what is the topic of the fourth paragraph is it a bringing good luck letter b keeping away bad luck letter c planning for the next year and letter d remembering hmm. i think it's a a so bringing bad luck okay let me check so the fourth paragraph, it's one, two, three, four. So many cultures get rid of bad luck. Correct. Mm -hmm. The answer is bringing good luck or keeping away the bad luck, right? Yeah. When you keep away the bad luck, right? Yeah. You bring good luck, right? Yes, that's all. Okay, that's great. So number five, mm -hmm. can you please read the question number five and try to answer it? Which is probably true about eating black eyed peas on New Year. Hmm. The thing is, one pea brings one day luck. Again, again, one pea brings one day luck, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, so, but I think peas are difficult to cook, isn't it? I'm not sure I'd ever find black. Mm -hmm. I okay. think. Because I think um, no one, mm -hmm, no one proves that one pea brings you one day luck, right? They have to eat um, 365 of it. That means same day with a year. Mm -hmm. So someone justified this one. Yeah. Okay, so this is the answer. Maybe mm -hmm. it's. The peas are very difficult to cook. Yeah, so I think the answer is the peas are difficult to cook, right? So that's I'm the fact. Sure. That is fact, mm. right? Mm. Okay. Maybe. All right, so now let's continue about this one, about idioms, okay? Okay. All right, so idioms are other words or other term that we can use when we are having conversations with other people, okay? Okay. All right, so can you uh, read the first idiom? One, get rid of, throw away, not keep. All right, throw away, not keep, okay? Let's uh, read the example. I want to get rid all of these old clothes that I never wear. Mm -hmm. She got rid of her old car and bought a motorbike. Okay, very good. So how about, did you understand this idiom? Yes. Okay, for number two. Two, keep away. May something stay far away. Mm -hmm. Keep away from the stove. It's hot. Put on this ice cream. It will keep away the mosquitoes. Oh, can you say mosquitoes? Mosquitoes. One more time, mosquitoes. Mo mosquito. Very good. Okay, and for the last idiom, we have. Start afresh. All right. Start again from the beginning. Very good. Start again from the beginning. So, can you please read the examples? I didn't like what I have like written, so I start afresh. Okay, correct. The dog ate my cake, so she had to start afresh. All right, but can you say Michelle's? 
Michelle. Okay, very good. So, on, all right, I have a task for you, okay, for this activity. You are going to use this idiom in making a sentence, okay? So, okay. So, it's each idiom is equivalent to one sentence, all right? All right. Is everything clear? Yeah. All right, so let me hear your answer for this one. Oh, wait, not okay. keep. Number hmm. one, get read. Get read of. Hmm, I guess I can. Hmm. Uh, I want to read of those old books. Okay. I want to get rid of get those rid old of books. Those old books, right? Yes. That's correct. For number two, we have keep away. Hmm. Not sure about this. Hmm. Keep away. Yeah, it may it means make something stay far away. Hmm. I think it's hmm, animal always keep away from danger. Animals or animals always keep away from danger. Uh -huh. It's a nice idea, but I think it's better to say some animals. Okay, some animals. Uh -huh. Always keep. Uh -huh. Always keep themselves away from danger, okay? Okay. All right, and for the last one, we have start afresh. Start afresh. Mm -hmm. hmm. You still need to think. Hmm. Hmm. The house, the building collapsed and the builder had to start afresh. Okay, the building collapsed and the builder have to start afresh, right? Yeah. Okay, correct. It's perfect. Let me just put it here. Okay. That's, do you have questions for this activity? Um, no. No? Did you get what I'm po my point? Yes. Okay, that's correct. So let's continue. Let's get going. Okay, so vocabulary reinforcement. Okay, in this activity, you are going to circle the letter of the word or phrase that best completes the sentence. Did you get it? Okay. All right, so can you please read the question number one and try to answer it? Young children should. Um, I think it's keep away from the swimming pool when no adults are there. Okay, very good. So they have to keep themselves away when there are no adults are there, right? Yes. All right. So what will happen to the children if they keep on swimming on the swimming pool when there is no adults in there? Um, I think that there's some problem if the two. Third, and they don't don't have enough and any issues when they will be drowned. Yeah, they will be drowned in the pool, right? And that's scary. Yeah, it is. All right. So how about number two? Two, it's already a new month. I need to turn over my hmm, resolution. Resolution, correct. You have to turn over your resolution. Another correct one. All right. So number three. Hmm. Please promise you won't tell anyone my secret. Mm -hmm. hmm. I think it's just promise or uh, agree. Oh, actually, it's promise, okay? Like Ar I already answered. Yeah, because when we say argue, it means you having a fight with other people using words, okay? Okay. That's the meaning of argue, okay? Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. So number four. Four. People. Some people think that smoking is a terrible 
was lotion. Mm -hmm. Are you sure about your answer? No, not really. Mm, definitely, hmm. it's not. Hmm. Several bites. <laughs> what is no, your answer? No. <laughs> okay, no, keep going. I'm sure. No, I'm not sure. I just think that um, there's some, some an another answer. Yeah, think of another answer. Hmm. Idea. Um, follow my another answer is idea, but there's no in here. Hmm. Oh, it's not in here. So you can check it here. To the four of them. You can choose among of them. Okay, actually, there, I can see the correct answer. It's right there. Okay. Yeah. Just pick the correct one. Let's do it. Hmm. There's something wrong here. Really? Yes, explosive is um, a little wrong. Mm -hmm. Are you sure with that? Yeah, um, smoke with that right. Do you want me to answer this one? Mm, yes, might mm -hmm. as well. Okay, so you want me to answer this one? Mm, yes, because I'm confusion. All right, so some people think that smoking is a terrible habit, okay? Yeah. Right? Okay. All right, so why habit? Why do you think habit is the answer? No, I'm not sure about this habit. Mm. Mm. I'm not sure about this. Oh, you're not, you're not sure about that. Okay, so habit are the things that we usually do, okay? So if you do smoking as most of the time, then it's a bad habit, right? Yes. Because it can harm your health, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, do you are you convinced that it's the answer? Mm, yes. <laughs> okay, so let's continue. How about number five? That disease is very rare in Africa and killing millions of people every year. Mm -hmm. So what's the answer? It's rare. Rare, correct. The answer is rare. Hmm. Mm -hmm. This um, question a little wrong. This disease is very rare. In Africa, yeah. it's kill million of people. Mm -hmm. hmm. That's wrong. Kill million of people. Think about that. It's very rare. But yeah. it's kill million. Yeah, hmm. it kill millions of people, right? I think it's very wrong here. It's rare, but it's kill million people. How? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think the reason, oh, just like coronavirus, you, you don't see it very, very often, right? Yes. Oh, that's rare. rare that virus is rare, isn't it? Mm, yeah. But but it kills millions, right? Because there's a lot of vi virus rather around us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So the answer right. is rare. Okay. Okay. All right. For number six. Six. Mass but his daughter a doll for her birthday. A doll, okay, correct. Very good. Mm -hmm. Of course. Now, do you have questions for this activity? No. No? Okay, since you don't have questions, let's move forward here, okay? okay? Okay. Let me read the instruction for you. Complete the passage with items from the box. Of course, there is an item that is extra, okay? So it's just a thing that is make your mind blow, okay? Okay. All right. So, can you please read the passage? New Year is celebrated around the world through many different customs. In Western countries, many people go to party in go to parties in evening. Correct. Wear formal clothes like two sandals and. Mm, Settles and hmm, what this? Prefer get rid of. Promise will start afresh. Hmm, not much sure. 
Mm, about close. There's no nothing on here. Oh, are you sure with that one? No, I'm not sure. Maybe there's some word in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you were just confused, right? Yes. Okay, but uh, I want you to read this one as tuxedos. Tuxedos. Okay, very good. So you want me to answer this one? Yes, that makes confusion. All right, so since you are confused with this item, the answer here is gowns, okay? Okay. All right, so do you know what is gowns? Mm, not sure. All right, so gowns are dresses that are usually wear by women when there are some formal event, okay? Okay. All right, so let's continue. In yeah. other cultures, people in other culture, people hmm, start afresh to get up early and watch the sunrise. Oh, are you sure with this one? No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Think of it again. Prefer. Prefer. Okay, very good. People prepare to get up early and watch the sunrise. Continue. Many cultures also have a new year traditional to um, get rid of bad luck and start afresh in the new year. Very good. And start afresh in the new year. Okay. Okay. Right. So what made you confuse with gowns? Um, I don't know. I don't really don't know what mm -hmm. it mean before. Mm-hmm. Okay, but you now you know, right? Yeah. Okay, that's really great. So do you have questions for this one? No. Are you sure that everything is clear? Yeah. Okay, that's great. Let's move forward here, okay? What do you think? Let me ask you the question, okay? If you <laughs> had if you had to make a New Year's resolution, what would it be and why? Hmm. What? If you had made a New Year resolution, what it would be? Hmm. Mm, I think it's not lazy on Saturday. <laughs> it's not being lazy on Saturday. Yes, I'm always lazy on Saturday and forgot the work I had to do. So you mean you you get up late every Saturday? No, I mean really late. Mm hmm Okay. So do you have a lot of things to do every Saturday? No, I'm just a little thing. Okay. Mm hmm So why? Why do you want to get rid of that? Because I don't want to work on uh, Monday because that would be a mess. Mm hmm Okay. All right, so let's continue to number two. What's your favorite public holiday and why? Mm, that's still New Year. New Year, okay. Why do you think it's the best or what? Do, why is it your favorite holiday? Mm, because that the only time that all my family go to one place and eat, eat with each other. Oh, really? And meet each other? You mean it's like a family reunion? Yes, um, with all my family. Okay, that's nice. Okay, so you know what, Anne, you did well in this lesson. All right, so and our time is almost over. But before I end the lesson, do you have questions for a teacher? No. No. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, so what is your favorite part in the lesson? Hmm. No, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll. Maybe all. <laughs> all right. Now, can I ask you something? Okay. All right. So, why did you uh, change your teacher suddenly? No, not I change. No, I'm, I'm not change. Mm, so you mean you didn't change your teacher? Yes, I think it's the center have problem a lot of time. Oh, the center have problem with their time. That's why the center changed the schedule. But it's okay. So by the way, I nice meeting you. I know that you are a talented and gifted student. All I want you to do is always use your knowledge in con in conversation and pronounce the words well. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye bye, Anne. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of the night. 
See you again next time. How do you see? I'll see you again. All right.